pictures that belong to her friends. She would sleep with her feet in the shins, and you know that the ends. Looking over her shoulder, never knowing herself. I can think she could never fit into somebody new. today's vlog it's going to start off a little different um one i tried recording yesterday and it was just super super busy at work today is tuesday so yesterday um i had to fill all of the orders from the sale that came in over the weekend so there was a lot of those sammy came and helped me So yeah, it was just a very, very, very busy day. Um, I recorded a little bit in the beginning as you guys are seeing right now and then that was about it. Got home, I actually had a really bad headache. I was exhausted so took the day off. I didn't lift at all or do any cardio um, besides packing orders obviously. And yeah, so today is brand new start today. I did go to the gym, get a really good leg workout in. I did my cardio and I wanted to talk to you guys about something and this is exactly why I'm recording in the bathroom right now because it's just something that's on my mind. I feel like I've been seeing it a lot lately and hearing a lot about it and so I'm like, okay, you know what, it's just like a sign. I'm just going to get out my camera, talk to you guys while I'm getting ready. I tried bringing my ring light in here and it like simply just wouldn't fit the way the tripod like legs are. But also my phone, <laughs> I have the flashlight on balancing on my little towel stand. Um, so I hope the lighting's okay. What I wanted to talk about yesterday, Steve Cook posted a video a day or two ago about motivation and dedication and Katie Ann and Paul Ravella, which she is with right now, just posted a video I think yesterday and I was watching that while I was on doing my cardio as well. And it just is, answers a lot of the questions that a lot of people ask me frequently and like I always respond back to people but I don't think I've talked about it in an actual video so that's what this is going to be. So yeah I'm just going to get ready while I'm talking to you guys because I have to go to work but I really wanted to talk to you guys about this. So I get asked a lot about how I have the motivation to go to the gym so early in the morning, how I keep that consistent, how 
I'm like, how am I able to do that? Because it's not an easy thing to do. And I completely agree, it's definitely not an easy thing to do. It took me a while to, for my body to adjust to it. But the simple reason, like, because I simply had to. Um, I used to work out with Chris at night from like, anytime between like 6.30 and 8, we would try to make it to the gym. And I, I don't know what it was, like maybe two or two, no. Like a month into prep, I started noticing that my energy levels were down at night and if I did make it to the gym, I wasn't getting a good workout. <laughs> Keyword there, if I did make it to the gym. I started not, well one, when I was in there, so I didn't have the best workouts because I was just tired and I noticed I was a little bit more lazy while I was in there. Like I would either cut my workout short, not do as many reps as I was supposed to or sets as I was supposed to or even if I did all of it, my mindset just like wasn't in the workout, like mentally I wasn't there. And you always hear people talk about mind muscle connection and I am definitely a huge advocate for like, if you aren't in your workout and thinking about the movements you're supposed to be doing, you don't go to get as good muscle contraction, therefore your workout's not as good. And I just noticed all of the above, like I, my energy levels were down at the end of the night, my Wow, it sounds weird going over this. Um, my attitude wasn't good. I started getting very like moody with Chris and like kind of snapping at him. Like he would want to do a workout and I'm like, I just want to finish. Like I don't want to wait for this person. Can we like substitute for something else? So basically I was just not enjoying my training anymore. I turned into a not very enjoyable person to be around. And I said like I wasn't getting the workouts done that I needed to get done and therefore couldn't achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve. So I just had to like make the conscious decision to, I also last year I um, was working two jobs. I started working with Sammy and at Petula, but I was also still working at Lululemon and I was in school. So I was running out of time. And that was the other reason I was like so stressed out at the gym was because I was thinking about all of the other stuff I needed to get done. And that's the stuff, it definitely is stuff I needed to get done. Like it's a valid excuse to not go, but I kept using that as an excuse to cut my workout short or to just not go at all that I had to do my homework or that I had to like rest a little bit before going to work so I can make it through work. And they're all once, like I said, valid excuses and um, reasons to not go to the gym. But with the goals I had, I needed to go. Like I had to make a change in my life and that's something I feel like a lot of people, and this is also kind of going along with like resolutions, like this time of year is obviously big for resolutions and especially this time specifically, I feel like is when a lot of people start to give up on their resolutions and not kind of follow through with them. And I think it's because people like they say that they want to change things or they say they want to do something and they say that they have this goal, but they don't actually make the changes in their life to make that happen. And sorry, <laughs> my shower just started dripping. Anyway, that you actually have to make the changes and especially if you're adding something different into your life or if your goal requires you to spend more time here or whatever it is, you're gonna have to make some kind of adjustment in your life and for me, I had to start working out in the morning like I really didn't have an option if I wanted to achieve the goals I had set for myself and be successful at them, not just complete them. Like I wanted to prove to myself and that I could do it and I wanted to be good at it. So that is something I feel like a lot of people don't do. They just expect to achieve their goals or to see progress when they don't actually make the change in their life. And so that's why I had to start working out in the morning. And as soon as I did make that change, I my workouts were a lot better. The first couple days in the gym definitely were hard. Like. At least for me, I know my body tends to, it seems like it adjusts to things very quickly. So I just forced myself to get up early, like two or three, I think three days in a row. And by like the fourth morning, my body was already starting to get used to that routine of getting up early and going straight to the gym. So that's something that really, really helped me. And then obviously starting YouTube, I have a full-time job. So if I want to record anything for YouTube or edit or whatever, I need to be able to do that at night. Therefore, I need to be working out in the morning once again. So that's just what made sense for my life. That's what helps me get 
all the things I need to get done done and helps keep me sane. I actually, now that I have been working out in the morning, it sets me up for a better day in general. Like I feel more productive. I feel more motivated. I feel more driven. I feel more passionate about what's going on just because I know that I'm like, I already have that workout behind me. I then feel fueled and I feel like I've achieved a good goal of mine. And like, I've said it to you guys before too, I'm a big advocate for celebrating your little mini victories. If that is me celebrating every morning I got up to go to the gym, then hey, I'm gonna do it. It's really, really good to acknowledge the progress you've already made and the little mini victories you've already had, but to also not use that as like an excuse all the time for like, okay, I was good this week, so I can just like eat whatever I want this weekend or sleep in every single day this weekend because then it's breaking the habit so you definitely need to be aware and like pat yourself on the back when you do a good job. So it keeps you motivated to go. But I feel like a lot of people are like, especially with resolutions and fitness, like, oh, I ate really, really good this week. So I can have whatever I want this weekend. And it's like, well, then you're not really creating a habit. You're kind of breaking it. It's obviously good to have like, not a cheat day, like a refeed or whatever, or just like a free day, but, or free meal, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of getting off topic, but that is what I wanted to talk about. Just the fact that like, if you set goals for yourself and you actually want to achieve them, you are going to have to make changes in your life. And I think that's a huge part of sticking to your resolutions is making those changes. Like right now, the only thing I am struggling with is my water. I'm, st I'm still struggling with it. So I decided today what I'm going to do, people are probably going to think it's weird. I'm sure some people are going to think it's annoying. I'm hoping some people will also find it helpful, but I am going to straight up like every hour put my phone or go on my Instagram story and just like turn it on for that however many sec 10 seconds I think it's on and chug my water in front of the camera every single hour to make sure I'm drinking water every hour. Once again, people are probably gonna find that weird, but that's something that will help me. I'll be like, okay, well I'm, and I'm gonna tell people that I'm gonna do that. So they know and then I feel like I have someone watching me to make sure I stay consistent with that so I just wanted to mention that because I feel like it seems like so far all of you guys are doing a wonderful job with your goals which is amazing and I keep saying resolutions and I'm not a huge fan of New Year's resolutions in general like it is a great time and it just uh, makes sense to a lot of people to like decide to make a change then and I think that's amazing but think of it as like you're trying to make a change in your life for like forever not just something you're trying to stick to for a little bit because I feel like that's kind of the stigma um, that's kind of around resolutions now it's just like something that doesn't necessarily change for the long term and I would just, instead of calling it a resolution or thinking of it as that, just think of it as like a change you're trying to make in your life and have it be a change for good. Um, so with all that being said, I'll stop talking your guys' ear off. I'm going to do my mascara, but I did want to show you because I asked you guys for your opinions. So I still have a few things I need to get, but I got this, this Tarte Full Coverage Foundation. And then I got this highlighter. It's Benefit. It said, what's up? I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It always wants to focus on my face. There we go. So this honestly scared me a little bit because it's a highlighter stick. I feel like it looks pretty good though. Um, I had always used the powdered. So I got these two and then I also got the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is literally the mascara that every single person um, recommended to me and I must say it is very 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 good I still am using my um, my Mac primer with it just because I haven't invested in a primer yet makeup is very freaking expensive these three things were $90 and she was like oh yeah the Tarso more inexpensive brand I'm like $90 doesn't sound inexpensive to me I digress um, I still have to get the Tarte it's like shape tape um, concealer I think it's called I'm still gonna get that but I didn't realize I didn't have that at Sephora I guess I have to go to Ulta so yeah I'm really liking these products thank you for all of you guys who gave me suggestions and I still also have to get an eyeliner so if you guys know good eyeliner brands or products whatever let me know
But I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head off to work. Okay, I lied, I wanted to show you guys the mascara. I, my flashlight is not on anymore, but I feel like you can still see. They're very, very full and you literally do not, you don't have to do like coat and coat and coat and coat and coat. I just did one, but look at how, it's like super, look at how full that is. Yeah, so I really, really like this stuff. And I also wanted to tell you, I hit a new low weigh-in today, 133, you guys saw that. That is a new low for me. I honestly haven't been weighing myself every single day because I have been very bloated. Um, really the past week, it was actually starting to get to me a little bit. I was pretty frustrated. I started my period when I didn't know I was going to. And so I knew I was bloated from that, but then I got off of it and like two or three days after it, I was still just super, super bloated. So that was very frustrating. Um, and I just didn't want to step on the scale because I knew I was going to weigh more and mentally, I just didn't even want to do that to myself. So I got on the scale for the first time this morning in like whatever, however many days, 133. So another pound down, very exciting. Yesterday was my first day on my new meal plan. I'm liking it less food saw that coming though technically my last meal plan was still an off-season meal plan just to, like get my body used to eating so frequently again and just used to the foods so I'm excited for the next three weeks see how my body responds it's very exciting I need to sign up for the Arnold today so I'm also going to I need to do that when we get home it's been a lot more complicated than I hoped it would Friends, as you can see, I have spent the whole morning packing. Some of these bags are from yesterday when Sammy was helping me, um, but I got like two more full bags packed today. Um, there's a lot more orders coming in because I don't know if you guys know, I mentioned to you, I need to stop doing that with my hair. Like I do not look good with the middle part and I, <laughs> I just, I never want it in my face so I like pull the other way. Um, anyway, the sale items are still on sale so the hoodies, are, the hoodies and jackets are 25% off and all the sale items, which there's not many left. Um, those are all 50% off, but you guys are definitely taking advantage of the hoodies and jackets, which is amazing because they're super, super nice, but I think it's something that people don't necessarily, or they can't like afford or don't want to spend the money on them because they don't know how high quality they are or like what to expect and like everyone <laughs> as soon as they get the hoodies they're like oh my god these are the softest things I've ever worn because they are I live in that clearly I'm in this one this is the one that's going to be available at the Arnold it's going to be a little different the Petula where is it I think it's on this side this one might not have it there's going to be a red Petula logo on this one and because our whole theme is kind of going to be red there's going to be red Elena's there with the pocket very exciting as soon as we get that stuff in I will show you um, and so you guys can know what to expect if you are coming to the Arnold and you could prepare <laughs> for what you want but yeah so I spent the whole morning packing I just arrived to my next meal though which I'm very excited about because I'm starving and set you up and show you once again that's not level at all but that's all right it doesn't look very good um, it actually tastes pretty good though it is Chicken, Brussels sprouts, peppers, and onions. Yeah, it's pretty good. And like I said, I am absolutely starving right now. I do not know why. Mm -mm. So yeah, I've been pretty busy this morning. I have a lot of emails to send and clean up the returns exchanges, get everything organized, still pack some more orders. So it's taking me a long day. Um, and then we'll see what we get into tonight. I don't think I'm gonna go back and do cardio again. I only have two week or two nights of cardio this meal plan, so I really don't need to go today either. So I probably won't. Um, I think I want to record a couple of videos when I go home, like actual sit down videos, kind of like that Tuesday talk idea. Um, just so I have them. I've, I've been I had a lot of stuff on my mind recently, given. Um, the talk we had this morning that was one of the things I had been thinking about but then I want to do like the video editing like the YouTube editing video and I have a couple other ones so I think in order to just sit down and get those done I just need to do it all at the same time 
and then I can have them like at least the footage ready so I can edit it whenever I have time and then get those ready to upload in the upcoming weeks or something like that because I just am finding especially now that I'm full time I don't have much extra time in the day and when I do especially now that I'm on prep it's like either consumed by cardio making food eating food or going to bed so I'm going to eat my meal and catch up with you guys in a little bit probably honestly when we go home because yeah I just have a lot to get done and it's the same old stuff as usual. Yeah. Hi. Got the itches? Hello. Oh boy. Has Guess who finally sat down and recorded the video editing video? This girl. Now I'm starving though. Um, so I think I'm gonna make my tuna meal. I literally got a new meal plan and my one meal is almost the exact same. I think I may have talked to you guys about it. I can't remember. My like tuna sandwich avocado meal is now the tuna, egg whites, and peppers and avocado are the exact same. But my Ezekiel bread was chopped. I don't have that anymore. And I have um, asparagus instead. Which is, I love asparagus. It's just not as filling as the bread obviously. So I think I'm going to make that. I'm very, very hungry. Christopher should be home at normal time today. And then he was exhausted, so I have a feeling me and him are probably just gonna relax. We haven't done anything with this area yet, but this actually worked out very nicely. I never thought about putting my ring light behind there, so I can just sit here and record, and I have the natural light coming in from here and here, so it's already pretty well lit, and then that on. I'm liking this whole little section. We still need to get something for the walls because it's just boring. But this setup worked out really well. Oh, stop, you're fine. see that I'm really good at life you don't want the pepper you just want the tuna huh I would like to point out that like poor Logan over here is actually starting to venture out whenever I make tuna or he hears the tuna can opening because he's like he's getting more courage to come out and he wants some and he's been consistently getting some and now this little thing first off look at her like Lily Get your head out of the can. So I'll go and put some in her food bowl so she can have it. And then I give the rest of what's left in the little can to Logan. And she has been getting so smart now and terrible. It's really it's terrible. She'll like pretend like she's eating her food and she runs over to his immediately like she's done to eat all of his. And then she goes back and eats the rest of hers. Like she doesn't even eat it. She just wants all of it. So she pretends like she's done goes and eats his food, and then goes back to hers after. And I caught on after like the first two times of having, so I'm like, how in the hell is she already done? And then I saw her go back and eat, and I'm like, you little thief. Mm -hmm. 